Right, in this lesson, we shall solve this word problem in front of us step by step. The difference of two numbers is nine. Five times the smaller is seven. More than three times the larger, find the numbers. We present a solution to this problem step by step. So we let x be equal to the smaller, smaller number. y equals the larger number. And we are saying the difference is 9, so that now we're going to find the difference. Because the difference is positive, it means you take the larger minus the smaller, and the result is exactly 9. And this means that at this point, transposing the x, then we have y equals x plus 9. And therefore, this here uh, is the first equation. Okay, So you have the second equation that is also important and it says five times the smaller is seven more than three times the larger. Okay, so in other words, let's do five times the smaller. Right, so in other words, the smaller one is, is x. So we're going to do five times the smaller. So it is 5x. Right, and then after we have done five times the smaller, Right, which is seven, more than three times the larger. Three times the larger, but obviously five times the smaller is uh, actually seven more than three times the larger. And the, obviously, it is, since it is seven more, it means the difference is seven, like so. And this one here, let us call this equation two. So we proceed to then say put. Right, so put one into two, which means that you have five X. Right, let's write this first, write five X here. Like so, minus three Y. The y is x plus 9. x plus 9. And this equals 7. So you have 5x minus uh, 3x minus 27 equals 7. And 5x minus 3x is what? It's 2x. Right, which is 2x, which is equal to 27 plus 7. Okay, 2x equals, right, what is 27 plus 7? This is exactly 34. And you have 2x, you divide the left by 2 and the right by 2. Which means x is equal to 17. x equals 17. Okay. Now, if x is 17, then we proceed to find y. Um, right, thus, we know that y equals what? Okay, we have that equation, this equation, y is x plus 9. y is x plus 9, so that x equals what? x equals 17 plus 9. And this is exactly 26. Right. And uh, now that we have solved this question as we have done, hence uh, the larger number, right, the larger number is, uh, right, so in other words, uh, the larger number is, uh, y equals 26, and uh, the smaller, smaller number is uh, x equals 17. Right, so, I like that. Okay, now, 
this is what we have. This is exactly what we have. So now what then do we do? We proceed to check these here. Let us provide a check. Let us find the difference. So we do a check. Right, so let us do a check and find the difference, okay? So we take the larger minus the smaller because the difference is given as positive. So the larger minus the smaller. This 26 minus. Okay, so the, the, the Y, which is 26, and the X, which is um, 17, like this. And so if you perform this difference now, what then are we able to get, okay? So you need to check this very carefully and make sure that we're actually able to get the correct result here because when you say 26 minus 17 and the result is clearly nine. So it means therefore the difference is correct. And then we proceed to then say, uh, according to this instruction here, five times the smaller, so is seven more than three times the larger. So you're gonna do five times the smaller, the smaller is 17. And uh, you compare with three times the larger, which is 26. And uh, we are told that the difference here is actually seven. Let us check if this is gonna be seven. So what is five times 17? Five times 17 equals what? Equals 85 minus, okay, now, Three times 26 equals what? Equals 78. And therefore you have uh, 85 minus 78 and the result is seven. Hooray! And this is awesome news. So we are able, are able to get the nine and able to get the seven here. And we have been able to solve this particular word problem step by step. And this is good news and excellent stuff. And we really appreciate this here. And thanks everyone for watching. And this is good news. A very, very excellent, excellent um, um, problem here. Well, problem we've solved. And goodbye to you.